Well, hello, everybody. I just finished up doing a little uh, budget item review. But uh, I figured just, you know, since I was out, out here, I'd just go ahead and take the time, do a nice little kind of walk and talk video. Uh, so far, everybody seems to have positives of, about those. So, you know, I, tried, I, may, I might try to add one or two of those in a week if, you know, assuming everybody who's subscribed and or watching or liking them. But man, I'm telling you, today's subject is yellow jackets. These guys are everywhere and they are going absolutely crazy this year. Uh, it's getting in towards the fall. And like I said, I think we're going to have an early fall. Man. Uh, and of course, they get kind of hyper aggressive when they start getting towards that time of year. They're really trying to get all the nutrition they can get stored up for winter. And they're, like I said, there must be a, a much larger number of nests in the area this year. And that typically seems to happen when we have a very dry, humid summer. I don't know if that's, you know, any other places in the U.S. It kind of gets it like that. But boy, these guys are going nuts out here. One of the cats drug in a couple of chipmunks and it just those yellow jackets man they absolutely just mob those chipmunk carcasses <laughs> insane it's not too bad yet this morning we're actually probably getting in around 11 close to it but uh yeah, the issue with the uh, yellow jackets and hornets and stuff this year, like I said, you know, it's pretty crazy. So hopefully everybody out there, you know, uh, take extra precautions if you can. I know they're hard to, I mean, usually when you find a nest, you find it the hard way. It tends to be how it works for me. But uh, have some uh, sting relief, uh, something. Uh, and if you are allergic, uh, hopefully you got like a, a one of those epi kind of pin things and uh if not that uh maybe uh, carry some form of like benadryl on your on you uh whether it be the tablets uh, I'd, I'd recommend if you can the liquid form because it absorbs faster and it's uh you got a lot of anti-inflammatory stuff in it uh you, uh, you can get a non-drowsy you know just if, if you are mildly uh, to moderately allergic to bee stings wasp stings if you get hit you know you can just take a take some of that and it'll help alleviate some of the symptoms but if you're at risk of anaphylactic shock you need the epipen so keep keep that in mind while you're out there enjoying mother nature guys fortunately i am not allergic to that but i definitely don't enjoy it <laughs> Don't like getting tore up by yellow jackets. But uh, just kind of walking through here, there's a lot of places that are, uh, I haven't found one up here at the location where we've done a lot of, a lot of our timbering the last couple of years. That don't mean they're not, but, you know, there's a lot of places up here that could, you know, they could definitely uh, make a cozy home out of, especially in the ground up here. Now, honeybees, too, you got to be careful with, especially if, if it's the Africanized honeybees are pretty dangerous. Uh, we do get a lot of, well, nowhere near as much of a use. We used to have people did beekeeping and stuff out in these areas, especially when I was much younger. Those I wouldn't mind to find, just your standard European chill honeybees, because those are pretty good for the environment. And, you know, worst case scenario, you know, the honey would be nice to have if you was able to safely manage to get it. But, uh, yeah, just be careful out there. I mean, this uh, wasp and hornets can, uh, they can ruin your day. <laughs> but uh, just kind of carefully marching through here. Like I said, you know, I'm keeping a close eye out. 
And if the yellow jackets are in the ground, I typically want to really get them upset. Because in general, unless we're intentionally not being, or, you know, we're just either by hunting or some other method of training, the way we walk, your average person actually kind of stomps when they walk. And that's actually what will get you tore up by the yellow jackets. Because as you're walking next to, or, you know, unfortunately, maybe right over top of a yellow jacket's nest, the vibrations from your footfalls impacting the ground, that's what really gets them worked up. Usually, even before you get within a good, you know, 10, 15 feet of the nest, they pretty well got you figured out that there's something coming. And, yeah, so learn to walk gently if you can. Uh, but I'm taking... You know, four or five, maybe ten steps, looking around, and I'm just stopping. So I can see yellow jackets just all over the place out here, but they're kind of, like I said, they're doing their uh, feeding thing. So it's hard to spot exactly where a nest may be because if there's like a small dead animal, they will absolutely just mob it, and they'll rip it apart, you know, get the meat out of it. So you may easily mistake that going on. I mean, even like a piece of fruit, like a apple fell off a tree, they'll absolutely mob it until they, you know, they get it all completely ate up. But their nest may not be nowhere close to where they're feeding, so just use caution. Now this little spot here, look, you make sure I get her in the camera there. Now that's a pretty good spot you got to watch out for, because that right there could harbor yellow jacket nest pretty readily there hmm. yeah not my uh favorite pastime <laughs> getting tore up by a bunch of daggone wasps all right guys uh this is kind of a short one here just you know i did a little quick little rambly thing here because i was just like the yellow jackets have been crazy so it's on my mind i'm like <clears throat> Yeah, I know I don't need to tell everybody, hey, don't get stung up by yellow jackets. Everybody knows that, but, you know, thought it might be an interesting uh, topic for discussion. So, uh, I am going to jump into side-by-side -side and get off the mountain here and uh, probably get me some lunch. So, hey, everybody, I appreciate you watching. Y'all be safe out there and don't get stung.